This is it. Your new home. It's a little cramped. We'll renovate and expand. Not to worry, my dear. It'll be fine for now. I'm so tired. I'll be back first thing tomorrow to finish our tour. Thank you for being a friend. What are friends for? Hmm. Thank you, too. I'll never be able to repay you. Perhaps there's a way we can help each other. Really? <laughs> how, boss? Yeah, how, boss? With a little help from me, we'll get you a room at the Roswell Arms. <gasps> In fact, we'll get you the whole place. <laughs> Yes. She looks quite ferocious. But she isn't. She's wonderful. I just wish Sir Roswald would give her a chance. I don't understand why he's being so mean to her. Some creatures are what they are. It's their nature. Sir Roswald, for example, is stubborn. And when his mind is set, it's almost impossible to change it. But he'll never have guests. Poor friends, unless he starts being nicer. Do you think he sees anything wrong with how he behaves? No. It's hard enough to change your basic nature when you want to. But it's impossible when you don't. Good night, you two. <sighs> Grandpa, I'll show her the cave and then the lighthouse. <gasps> Where's Felicia? Looking for a fox? <laughs> yeah. Where'd she go? She went to get a suitcase. From Sir Oswald's. Alone? Well, we didn't go with her. And the boss is still sleeping. Huh? Come on, Grandpa. Hurry. I'm sure Felicia is just fine, Eckhart. Wait. Listen. Over here. Oh, 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 <gasps> Felicia! Eckhart, thank goodness you've come. We'll have you down in a minute. <gasps> oh, my goodness. This is an outrage. Don't just stand there. Help her. Yes, yes boss. boss. <laughs> Oh, he did this to me. I beg your pardon? I don't know what he would have done to me if you hadn't come along. <gasps> I asked for my bag back, and he told me I wouldn't need it where I was going. What? Then he strung me up. I did nothing of the sort. How dare you accuse me, you... you vagabond. <laughs> That's the last straw. First he turns on this gentle fox. Who will be next? You? You or you? Hey, what did I do? I suggest you leave Crumbfest Cove immediately. Yeah! You are all fools if you take the word of a fox over mine. Well, someone had to string Felicia up. She couldn't do it herself. I simply refuse to live among such traitors. Now, don't, don't be too hasty. I shall vacate Crumfest Cove immediately. Can we help you pack? <laughs> Imagine accusing me. Sir Oswald, please don't go. Grandpa wasn't accusing you. He was just trying to figure it out. You started this by making friends with that vixen. But I'm your friend, too. And I don't want you run out of Crumfest Cove. Run out? I'm choosing to leave. But I... I'll miss you. <sighs> One can never stay, dear Eckhart. 
where one is not trusted. <laughs> Go on! Ooh, Get out of here, you stinker! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Stubborn as he is, I don't think we've seen the last of Sir Roswald. I don't know, Grandpa. I've never seen him this angry. Mmm. A home of my own at last. Thank you so much for all you've done. Consider it just the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Now what can I do for you? Well, perhaps we could call an assembly to announce our partnership to all huh. the mice. Partnership? Yes, in ruling Crumfess Cove. Any mouse that dares to disobey me will have to answer to you. Hmm? They'll be quaking in their boots. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why don't we hold the assembly here? and tell them I'll fix dinner. Hmm, that way all the mice will show up. Partner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Buck up, old chap. At least you're rid of those foolish, foolish mice. <laughs> Excellent, right on time. Why is he being so nice? Turned over a new leaf. Honored guests, please come in. Eckert, do join us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my friends. It's so different. Please, be seated. What's for dinner? I'm starved. <laughs> so am I. <gasps> Before we eat, I think it's only fitting that we have a few words from our elegant hostess. Oh, if you insist. I'm so fortunate to have come to Crumfest Cove and met so many delightful mice. You're all so wonderful and plump and delicious <gasps> that I could just eat you all up. And so I will. <gasps> you beast! We should have known. I want to go home. Tonight's menu, stewed mice. <gasps> 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 I'll get him later. Perhaps for dessert. Uh, there must be some, a mistake. You don't mean to eat me, do you? Well, you're a mouse, aren't you? I'm your partner. <gasps> You've sunk us all this time, Chauncey. Uh, and do you know what you'll get for being such a wonderful partner? Uh. The pleasure of being eaten. Eckhart? It's horrible! It's the fox, isn't it? Yes! She's got everyone trapped! She's gonna eat them! Let us go, Eckhart! There's rescuing to be done! Perfect. And now for the main ingredient. Oh! It must be that Eckhart. I'll show him. It's not fun to fool Felicia Fox. Hey, Felicia! Oh! <laughs> you little troublemaker, you! You think you've ruined everything, don't you? Well, it's not a total loss. I'll make a quick snack out of you! Not so fast, you vixen! I don't imagine that fox will show her face around here again. 
In a spirit of friendship, we'd like to present this small token of our appreciation and apologize for the way we treated you. If it wasn't for you and your hidden passage, we'd be fox food. Well, Miss Barnes, I bought the place from a rabbit couple who... I hate to interrupt. May we serve dinner? Yes, Gosso! <laughs> No laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, I don't understand how Felicia fooled us all like that. She seemed so nice, but really was so mean. Well, look at Sir Oswald. Who knew, except for you, that under all that bluster was a loyal, steadfast friend to mice? Only because he let me know. Only because you let him, lad. 